Hi, everyone, and welcome to Austin 360 Studio <laughs> Sessions, brought to you by Bud Light. I'm Amy Edwards, on-air personality at Austin 360 Radio and your host for Studio Sessions. And today, we're so excited to welcome the Cuckoos. Uh, they're an Austin band comprised of Kenneth Frost, Dave North, and Eric Ross. They're often called glam rock by the Austin media, uh, but they're self-described as deeply rooted in classic rock, dance club funk, and neo psych soul. I love when we get into those genres. So welcome, you guys. Thank you so much. We've got Kenneth and Dave with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah, uh, I'm very excited. We have an interview coming up after your performance, and maybe you can just tell us a little bit about, I don't know, like how you view your sound and how you came up with those, and then what you're gonna play first today. Um, I think we, uh, we started off kind of, like I met Dave when I was about 18, I think, and uh, there was a commonality between like psychedelic rock and roll, I'd say, but uh, I've learned about so much different music from him and vice versa that, uh, and then the other members of the band and stuff that uh, I think it's easiest to just say that we're a, a rock and roll band, but uh, we're kind of ever evolving and ever changing. Like, I feel like we went through a 60s phase and uh, a lot of our more recent stuff has been a little more uh, new wave, I would say, but just always trying to keep it modern, but uh, definitely wear our influences on our sleeves. And yeah, I, there's the sky's the limit. So we'll we'll see where the, the cuckoo sound goes next. I love that. I love that so much. I love like when you keep learning and don't get stagnant, pigeonholed into, you know, one kind of sound or something like that. I think that's such a beautiful thing. So what are you gonna be playing first for us today? Um, I'd say we're probably going to be playing Heartbreak Paradise. That's usually our, uh, our opening number. It's kind of, we put out a, a new album in January and then kind of a follow-up EP in March. And uh, I feel like Heartbreak Paradise is a good thematic, like encapsulating title track. So that's usually what we start out with. Awesome. Well, I'm really excited to hear it today. And Thanks again. And I just encourage everyone to stick around for after your performance when we all get to chat a little bit more. And I want to hear more about your releases this year and what you've got going on. So thanks, guys. Thank you. Go. Hello, world. I'm Kenneth. I'm Dave. We are the Cuckoos. Thank you so much, Austin360, for having us. And uh, we lied to you. We said we were going to do Heartbreak Paradise first, but we're going to do I'll Be Your Tramp instead. So, uh... Yeah, be my baby 
This next song is called Pop Trendsetters. We just put it out and it's available everywhere now. So go listen to it. Rolling. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Austin360, for having us. And uh, check us out at thecuckoosaustin.com. Thank y'all.
right, Dave and Kenneth. So I want to know a lot more. So 2020 hasn't slowed you down, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, you've released an album in January that you mentioned earlier and three new tracks during COVID. And you've already talked to me a little bit about how, like, how your creative process is shifting. But I guess I just wanted to know a little bit more about how this year has affected you as an artist. What's, what you been... What you been vibing on, Lightning? <laughs> I mean, without, well, we're, before we were constantly seeing new live music and always going out to shows and, and um, you know, kind of seeing what was hot on the scene. Yeah. And so without that now, we're kind of forced to, you know, assume a lot of things. And, and It's and, internal. It's more internal yeah. now, you know. It's not as great of an outside influence on, on things now so it's not really you're trying to copy what someone else is doing you're kind of performing more original stuff now at the, from the heart yeah yeah <laughs> well being forced to perform from yeah, the heart there's, now. Uh, it's, there's without that competition <laughs> it's kind of like well here you go <laughs> here's yeah. the song <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it forces you into more creativity, right? Like, and um, your own original sound. And can you tell that you guys are like growing into something like that? I mean, do you just, do you feel that when you're, when you're writing these days? Do you feel more of that? Absolutely. Yeah, I feel like kind of what you mentioned earlier about just uh, learning too. I feel like I haven't personally been writing that much uh new stuff like in the last couple of months because i've been spending so much time learning about new technology with uh just electronics and video stuff and all sorts of uh kind of digital mainframe <laughs> yeah. things that we kind of neglected in the past and i feel like uh it's made me feel just like probably this week I'm going to be like, yeah, I feel like writing some music and I feel like I've got just a thousand new ideas in my head that are ready to blow out. So uh, there's a lot of weird vibes and weird mojo in the world today. And I think it, it does kind of fuel creativity sometimes when you're put into these weird life experiences. So uh, things are weird, but good. <gasps> yeah. I completely agree with that. There's probably going to be like a big artistic explosion once this is all done and people have new skills like you have. I mean, you got, you even said um, when we were off the air, like about how, you know, you are each like taking on different roles within the band and, you know, shifting in that way too, which is really, really cool. Yeah. I think, uh, prior to this quarantine, we had this kind of, we want to be a, rock band like our heroes and you know and sometimes you kind of put yourself in a box and limit yourself and it's like we're a lot of creative individuals that can do a lot of different stuff and we should be open-minded to utilizing all like billy eilish is cool tyler the creator is cool like we shouldn't just try to like do old school rock and roll and have the stereotypical kind of traditional setup i feel like uh puts you in a box and kind of hinders creativity sometimes and now i feel like there's no rules push those limits hell yeah, yeah. um well you mentioned heroes so who like were some of your other influences either in austin or outside of austin and maybe who's like shifting you that maybe is inspiring you these days well, I know his is Tame Impala because he's Ooh. always showing me the new Tame Impala stuff, oh, yeah. and it's <laughs> not socks off. Mm -hmm. um, we talk about Joy Division a lot because they're Ooh. such an outsider. They're so pure, and <laughs> yeah. and the, both of those. I mean, he's introduced me to those two, and I, before I met Kenneth, I was really just listening to blues. And like I didn't know anything about Black Sabbath or like Which metal music. Crazy to me. Yeah. Like, how did you not know about Sabbath? It was intimidating. <laughs> but uh yeah, I feel like Tame and Paul is a good one that uh although maybe in the past they were more influential directly to our sound, that they've just been really inspiring me on how they've been uh 
adapting with the times and uh you know they they put out some really cool psych rock albums when they first came out and now they're doing like weird pop dance club music and it's cool and i think it's nice to change it up and uh sometimes you lose some some old school fans but you gain a lot of new ones and i think as far as uh like i don't know i just take a lot of tips from them i think they've, they've got a good uh things are working out for them so it's good to like take notes for them but more in terms of the sound i'd say i feel like i always gotta say prince is a huge like i just am obsessed with prince uh always been a huge doors fan like jim morrison is a vocalist and uh ray manzarek is a keyboard player uh, iggy pop like thinking now in these quarantine times like i'm missing the live shows and all the energy and stuff like that and i feel like people like ian curtis from joy division or iggy pop are more influential in the live setting and that like sometimes there's just a little burst of energy that gets to come out whenever we're doing that that doesn't really like come across on the records or the recorded music and uh there's something special about that setting so where i'm definitely missing live shows but uh yeah well i know i know that you guys have had some really strong live streams too during the pandemic and i think you just had a really big one right and with dangerous hippies and prince ivan and um yeah, yeah. yeah. and so you know are you at least feeling like you're, you know, nourishing that in some way with those? Yeah, and I feel like we've been doing a lot more behind the scenes work. We've only done, I think, two, or right when the quarantine started, we did a kind of our own digital South by Southwest. But that first one was kind of like we just set up an iPhone and played. And mm -hmm. then we did one for our EP release. And that one, we actually did audio properly and everything. And I feel like uh, they've just kind of gotten a little bit better and better. But uh, we've just been spending a lot of time behind the scenes kind of getting it ready so that we can just live stream whenever we want and that it's quality. So uh, like last night, we did the Road Nation one and it went really well. The, the video got a little glitchy, but... Uh, the audio sounded pretty, pretty clean. It was smooth sailing. And uh, I, I think that we'll, like that was kind of a guinea pig thing last night. We just like didn't really practice, set up all this new equipment and tried it and it went pretty smoothly. So I feel like once we actually get in the swing of it, like it'll be really fun, like doing a lot of digital shows and stuff like that. It's never gonna be the same as a live show, but uh, we can still do the best we can through the screens. Right, you never know how it's gonna translate to. You never know like these things that we're learning are gonna translate into something completely different. Um, and speaking of online stuff, so you have a show called iCuckoo, right? Is that correct? Um, so can you uh, tell me some about that and share that with everybody? Well, it's kind of, uh, kind of, we like did season one and now we're taking a break and we don't know when it's gonna come back yet. But uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. We would just kind of review movies and uh, review albums. And we recorded a bunch of live takes of us playing some songs and would get other bands to send us videos to play. So it was like a little, 30 to 50 minute MTV kind of show that we did for like nine weeks, I think. So there's a whole season of that on our YouTube channel. And I think we're definitely going to continue it in some way. But uh, that was a like, we were just every week nonstop doing this thing. And it was kind of like, hey, we got to focus on our music <laughs> a little bit. So uh, I mean, just, a lot of it was just trying to get our friends yeah, talking it's, and it's, yeah. being a part of music you know yeah, like, whether it be around the, the the county you know with um you know putting other bands on the show but also just trying to talk to our bandmates in the beginning of the pandemic yeah, like, was really 
an odd heap to to approach because me and day we live together so like we it's easy for us to do that sort of stuff but uh just trying to create like some sort of community thing here and uh have some sort of little platform that all of our bands can kind of just be like hey check out we put out a new song let's debut the music video on this thing or whatever and it was cool but uh yeah i i feel like it's gonna morph into something else it was definitely the the start of something cool but i, I don't know when we're gonna do season two yet we, we've got some other plans first but it's, it's fun it sounds, like, sounds like you have a lot of plans and i just want to say too i really admire your fearlessness because it can be scary to just you know delve into these unknowns and you know shift your genre and all that kind of stuff and so it's really it's really lovely and impressive and inspiring and i hope that other artists take note too because just trying things is really really cool so what do you see on the immediate horizon for you guys right now um i don't know what do you want to do dave <laughs> The beach in California. Yeah, we, we want to go to California for a little. <laughs> yeah, let's all go to California right now. <laughs> we yeah, we may we may. Uh, it it's so weird here in Austin because we have this uh, music city and this music culture and uh, just seeing it not like we can't do anything right now. <laughs> kind of it, it's like uh, disheartening, but. Uh, I, I don't know. I think we, we've put out a lot of uh, songs this year. I guess we put out like 18 songs this year, I think. Damn. Wow. So I think all of the stuff we've been doing with video and live streams, kind of, I think we're probably going to start getting in the swing of doing that a little more regularly now because we're not going to be doing releases all the time. But uh, yeah, I think I'd like to do something to... Uh, help make like i don't know it just sucks with all these venues and like who knows whenever live shows are going to come back like what venues are going to still be around and i know that we've had a lot of like incredible some of our best memories at some of these like uh places here in town and uh i'd like to come up with something hopefully i can we can come up with some idea to do something cool for the city but uh we have actually seriously been considering uh, going to California for a little bit just to dip our toes in the water and see what that's like. We're uh, living with another musician friend right now, uh, Matt Gilmore, and he, he kind of wants to go on, we just take a little vacation when the time's right, I guess, and go dip our toes in the, the beach. But... Uh, we we just want to take things less seriously. Yeah, we, we need a a little break. But um, yeah, uh, as far as plans, we just put out our a new single yesterday. I guess it's available exclusively on Bandcamp, and uh, part of the proceeds go to when we all vote. We got to get people to go out and vote. And I think that's what I'm going to go do probably after this interview is go vote. Right but, on. Yeah. Um, the song will be available on like Spotify and all that later. I don't know exactly when, but uh, what's that'll the, be our last what's the title week. of the track? What's the title? It's called Pop Trendsetters. Cool. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little different kind of direction for us, I think. It's a little more dancey, a little more disco. But uh, it's cool. We had a fun time doing it. So I, I hope people dig it. But I think that'll be our last, like, official release for the year. And we'll probably just be posting cool stuff online and trying to, like, interact with our fans and keep things afloat. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, remind everybody where they can find you. Um, on Facebook, I think it's just the Cuckoos or the Cuckoos Austin, and Instagram is just the Cuckoos C U C K O O S, and our website is the Cuckoosaustin.com, and that kind of has most everything on that. 
Fantastic. So, um, uh, you know what? Good for y'all for just taking things a little seriously and going for it. And I'm so happy that you took the time today to be here and connect with everybody and share your music and your messages. So thank you so much for being a part of Studio Sessions today. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I encourage everybody to find you, Kenneth and Dave. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of you who are watching Studio Sessions brought to you by Bud Light. We're super, super grateful. If you want to catch up on Studio Sessions too, just go to austin360.com. Click on that tab at the top that says Studio Sessions, and they're all right there with all our awesome artists like the cuckoo, cuckoos. And um, thanks so much to Dave and Kenneth for being here today. We will be playing the full Sessions too on Austin 360 Radio. You can find that on our app or at austin360radio.com. I'm Amy Edwards, and you've been watching Austin 360 Studio Sessions brought to you by Bud Light. Peace, love, light, and all that good stuff to you guys.